Now, I know Kanye West is rolling over in his Wyoming ranch, in his Wyoming bed, because he's looking at the trade deadline, trying to watch a little NBA news. And then we got the rap trade deadline. It just happened overnight along with the KD trade. What do y'all mean by this? Kanye West and Kyrie Irving are looking like, what the hell is going on? Did this black man P from QC and Coach K just trade their rights of a black owned independent successful label to a Jewish man overnight during Black History Month? No, no, no. But you know what? P put it up. He put up the picture, the, the Kevin Durant style picture, my next chapter. That's what he said. He sold it. Who did he sell QC to? Well, he sold it to Hive America, a company led by an executive and artist manager, Scooter Braun. And if you know anything about the music industry, you know that that's the guy right there. He's very successful. Now, my questions, I got a couple questions, right? The first question I want to ask y'all, how long do y'all think it takes to negotiate a $300 million deal? Weeks? Months? Years? Now, some people are saying that they sold it for far too less. But first of all, we are civilians. We don't know nothing about this rap game. And we don't know exactly everything what he sold. Did he keep certain rights? Did he keep certain masters? Like, what did you know what I mean? So we don't know exactly the details. But what I will say is QC has had two ultra successful artists. But I'm not sure if their catalogs reach 300 million themselves. And I'm talking about the Migos and Lil Baby. And. The rest of the people, their names are really bigger than the album sales, like Lil Yachty, the City Girls, Bankroll, Freddy, all of them, etc. Their names, they're popular. They are a great addition to the label, but they never really sold a lot of records, right? They might have platinum singles, and that's probably what added that all up to 300 million. But I'm not going to say that they are just the ultra successful artists that the other two are, right? Now, my real question is, is this why Offset couldn't get the rights to his independence? Now, he's saying he paid y'all to get his rights and it was a handshake deal and y'all never came through. Was it because y'all knew that y'all were about to sell your label to this European man? Is that what it is? Were y'all denying this man's independence because y'all promised this man Offset along with Quavo take off all their all their rights all their rights in the package they had to be part of the package deal because see now it's kind of weird to me it's like damn y'all going to court y'all suing offset saying he got to distribute this money to y'all when in actuality y'all knew y'all was selling the label anyway so now the offset drama is a part of another man's headache and i'm sure that offset may not really have that much of a working relationship with him it seems a little snakish to me could Offset see the writings on the wall? Is that why Offset felt like he needed to get off the label? How do the other artists feel about this? You know, they signed for you. Now you out. They talking about you Coach Prime out here. Yeah, they saying you Coach Prime. You got us here and then you just left us in Jackson, Mississippi. Is that what they saying? Allegedly, I heard that P want to buy 300 Entertainment. So I'm wondering, is that his next move? Was that what this money play was for? You want to you don't want to just own your own label. You want to own multiple successful artists. You know, you want to own the Megan Thee Stallions, all them people that signed the 300. I'm talking Young Thug. Do you want to own their catalogs? Is that what it is? Was this just a money play all along? One thing I can tell you that I can guarantee in this situation is that rule number one. It's about self preservation p and coach k did what they felt what was best for them first of all i want to applaud them if i haven't already i don't want to come off like a hater that is a great move for them very successful I, i'm just wondering how the other artists feel about it and what's really bothering me is you trade in another man's rights when he's fighting for those same rights with you on a personal level and we know how snakish this game is and you as a black man i would have liked to see y'all set offset and get that straightened out before y'all just sold over his rights 
to the next man but that's just me y'all let me know what y'all think down below about that situation man like share subscribe comment hit that notification bell and we out baby Boom. I'm daddy channel <laughs> I'm going for daddy channel